I live alone, so there's no one to talk to. And it just, it makes me more nervous just sitting at home. Peggy and Katie spent the afternoon enjoying the patio at the Inzion Theater. Both are in their 70s in a higher risk group for COVID-19, but decided they could stay cooped up in their homes no longer. And this could be the last years of our lives, so we want to enjoy them. Advised to protect themselves, so many seniors are not going out, passing up on life's little pleasures in the hopes of staying physically healthy. But what about mental health? Then there is that invisible side effect of this pandemic that it really affects seniors, um, not being able to have that uh, human touch Carla Radka is with the Senior Resource Alliance. The government-funded organization has a new program that's simple but effective. A staff of counselors call seniors on a regular basis just to chat. If they sense the person is depressed, a psychiatrist could be called in. Depression is, is, a, is a condition as much as it's high blood pressure, as much as it's a it's a sickness as much as it's heart disease or anything else. Since COVID-19, the group has been delivering meals to seniors who are more or less homebound, feeding thousands of bellies. Now, with the new phone call program, they're feeding thousands of souls. In Orange County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News.